how it go I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes Stay in your lane, I to stay on the go I can to play with the pros and act like a rookie So they overlook me, then I double up again None of their nose, none of them cold They just got lucky but never adapted So I'm telling the one if it's coming to blows My enemies cutting it close I let them think that they got me, but what do you know? I had them beat before we ever spoke I'm ready for smoke I need to know everything Who in the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. All right, guys, you'll see it right here. I bought one, seven grand. And a lot of people in the comments always like, this guy didn't pay that much right there, counting seven grand. You can see it. That's the auctioneer. Shout out to him. I bought one, number six away. The other, the other guy bought many of them, spent like almost 40 grand. But whatever, I had to gamble. Pirates, crazy. I managed to score one unit because that guy there didn't want to let anybody get any. But I got one. Had to pay seven grand. Owner had to buy I think I paid a little bit of money. What intrigued me? Well, this lady had units full, floor to roof. You saw Manny, cameraman behind me? Crazy, huh? It was really crazy. One of them went for 19, one of them went for 15. Reasons why? People were excited by the purses. You see tons of Dooney, brand new. It's gonna be a little bit of a, a gamble here. Let's see, let's just start off what made us buy. 298, so that goes right on eBay. Right. Probably for what? 200 250 258 a Dooney & Burke. Very nice travel bag. You got the green version, so... Wow, quantity 11 of 25. So that means at that time she bought 25 of them. It's crazy. And this is another one. 258 Uh, Right off the bat, those are going home with me because I got to make back some money. Here's the receipt. She spent 666 bucks. That is nuts. Let me throw this out here. You might think that there'd be more on the bottom, huh? Probably. That looks like a little bit of money. You ever bought a, a Birkins? Oh, that's those. Those are, are those are those trendy ones, huh? 135 bucks. 135? Yep. Nice. Cause I'm gonna need how many of those, Manny, to get back seven grand? Probably need like a hundred. Oh, I'm nuts. I know. Soft and Cozy Company. Home Shopping Network, Soft and Cozy Company. And towels. Two bucks a piece of the stock and flea market right there. <laughs> oh. Dude. All right. This is, I'm, I'm a little 20. reluctant on. Not bidding on the other ones? Well, it makes you think. Now think about it. We, we just kind of laughed at the price of the other ones, right? And now, like, the one you wanted with the Louis Vuittons, it makes you... Laugh. I like that last one, man. That big one was... That big one looked good. Oh, you see the shoe boxes? Think they're in there? Size 9. Come on. She had a UGG addiction, huh? Oh, Brand bro. New. And those aren't those, those aren't just regular UGG. Those are, like... Those are some fancy ones, you know, like limited edition. The other unit had like probably 10 pairs or something. In the one? Yeah. The first one? It makes them look a little better now because it comes with a little tag and a little perfume. Please be something special. They were, ooh, dude. Brand new. Yeah, that's probably a hundred bucks, right? Yeah. These are limited edition ones. They're not like, just like we went to the, uh, uh, you know, Shoe out where you got some shoes. Those are some. <coughs> oh, bro. That's crazy. Size nine is not a bad woman size. It's a little larger. It's a little sell though on eBay. Yeah. These are really good, like on my whatnot show and stuff. Hats and stuff are freaking. Oh, hoo hoo. 44 and 44. Shut the door. Sanita, the original Danish clogs. Okay. Those are pretty styling, not right these days, don't you? Like Alameda type customers buy those. I didn't know so. Guys, let me get a shout out to Comprando Depositos Abandonados. I get a lot of people who say they like your channel. People watch my channel like, I love Manny. How come you never, you never work with him anymore? I'm like, he's too big to work with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> I haven't even been uploading. 
I was really intrigued by this stuff right here. I know what you're saying about that's the one thing I didn't like about the other unit is all up against the sun. But some of those were like, when I looked up last night, comps were like as much as like 800 for some of the philosophy. Like no the lie. little creams? Yeah. No it was, it's way. not just cream, it's shampoo. It's, it's a major brand. And some of the comps were like, and freaking incredible. Come on, baby, money. I'm, I'm feel like we're about to find like a hundred grand in cash, you know? Probably need those. Okay, that's personal paperwork. Okay. Isaac Mizrahe Live. All oh, this stuff is cool for the internet. Jess, this a lot of this stuff. What, eBay or what? My girlfriend's been really going crazy with the clothes on eBay lately because it's selling. Hmm. Dan's Co. <gasps> Bro, that's beautiful. It looks like a lot of good eBay items, which is kind of, oh, Victorian snowflake. There's four pairs in here. I don't even know. That's crazy. Let's take a look back in here. Yeah, I want to see back here. Honestly, before I leave, I want to see one of those boxes back there. Which one? Pick one. Before I leave. Even that cooler is cool, dude. Oh, wow. That's a good color. Nice. It's got the, the limited UGG band. That's probably 180 bucks right there. I would guess. What do you think? Like yeah, around there. Wow. I wonder what's in that suitcase right there. You want to see? Yeah, I do. Is it heavy? Please be some Lewis Beaton. Okay. Clothes. Personal clothes. Really dirty, huh? I always like to look for name, name brands. Is that what you do? Yeah, sometimes. Style and clothes. Well, it's, I mean, we already know she bought good name brands. Karen Scott. This looks like a little bit of just basic clothes here. Come on. Come on, bags of money. Okay. Come on. Oatmeal. Ah, uh, clothes. Wow. She had some money, didn't she? Just like buying creams. Like, oh, I'm out. I'm, I'm on vacation. Let's just spend 400 bucks on some more. It's crazy. Okay, not bad. Looks like a lot of empty boxes over there. Looks like a bunch more Uggs there. Looks interesting, man. Do you have any idea what that is? Uh -huh. It says, whoopee. Right, that box isn't very excited about our store. <laughs> All right, well, you want to see a QVC one? Hey, these are all Ugg boxes right here. See that? You didn't even notice that, huh? Look at that. Wow. Think all the way down. Yep. Bro. You got some of that philosophy stuff down there, too. Look at these. <laughs> That's crazy. Have you ever seen those Uggs? I, I never I have. have. I didn't know Ugg, Uggs made boots like that or high heels like that. That one will probably have to make it home. Um, you want to see one like this? Yeah, one of those QVC ones. Okay. It's a little heavy. I'm so much intrigued. Like, what's in all of them, you know? Mm hmm Color lipstick red. Quaker Factory Dream Jean Pull-On. Doesn't say a brand. All right, I gotta get to the truck store. I gotta get to the truck store. I wanna grab a few, ooh. I gotta get my truck dropped off at the shop today. Um, I wanna get some stuff in here. All right, we're just gonna grab a couple things here. Look at that, look at that. Kate Spade, 
looks like costume jewelry, maybe. QVC. What do we have here? We'll take that. And we will take this. What is that? Please be some bucks. If any of y'all are a reseller, I'm about to teach you my number one secrets. Great way to save money, and I make a lot of my money on the internet, and this is a must. If you're a reseller and you are not buying this like this, you guys need to reevaluate the situation. Do not go to Home Depot. Do not go to Walmart. Do not go to all those stores and buy paper. It is crazy. Guess how much I pay for these 30 pound rolls. This right here is 96 bucks. Six rolls, 96 bucks. That is 16 a roll. How much do you think that is? You go to the store, you're paying far more. Number one secret I have, number one tip, find yourself a moving company, supply store, and buy your paper there, guys. Hustle, grind, and wind. Right here, going out, guys. $5,000 in sales in just over four hours. 59 packages inside of my car. Finally back at home, guys. Done with my day, and... I'm going to go through some stuff. There is some cool stuff. That's neat. That's a brand new little Dunienberg purse. That's probably 60, 80 bucks, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Does this have a thing in here? Yeah, 58 bucks. And what else is in here? Oh, this is stuff for buying it. Wow. Okay. What's this a receipt for? Oh, yeah. It's for my truck. I came out of my pocket. Uh, dropped her off at the shop today. Cool. Had to get her to look that. There's four of these in one bag here. And it says they were 633 bucks. And they are gold. 14 karat. And I believe that's what all these are because the receipt says so. Italian gold, 11 inch color ankle bracelet, 2.1 grams. And she paid that much money for all of them. Now let's see what's in these bags here. These ones I brought home with me. Okay. Ty Beanie Babies 10 year anniversary. I don't know if those have much value. I mean, they're cute, but that's probably one of the most overrated collectibles ever. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, yes. All right, we got some Kate Spadians. Those look beautiful. Hey, look, it's a camera woman. Whoa, spent a hundred and seventy freaking nine dollars on this. That's cool. We were just discussing how this is probably the most overrated collectible. They're cute. They're fun. They make great gifts. You know, you got a poker one. Check this out. It's a beanie baby. Looks like we got a bunch of them in here. What do you think these are worth? This, is this just eight bucks or is, can one of these be rare? I know they have those rare ones. St. Patrick's Day. That's coming up next. You want to dip some of these? Sure. Oh, no. look, it's a whole St. Patrick's Day collection. This would be cool because you don't decorate very much. So I think it would be <laughs> neat if you put up a few things for it, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, comment below if you've ever seen Jessica's decorations. Um, there's a lot. It's all behind you. It looks like a lot of Beanie Babies. Check that out. So we got Boo and the rest is Beanie Babies. We're going to call that a wrap. Every box could have a million dollars in my eyes. What do we got here? Mixed berry tart. Made by, oh, philosophy. Dude. You're probably going to want dibs this, Jensen. Look up this brand when you're done. It, no lie, this this could be like 200 bucks right here. It's crazy. Nothing. I'm going to try this here. New face. We'll just go like that. New face mini, new face Trinity Pro. Um, What is that? 
a facial toning device. Oh. Okay. That's what it, it says. Ooh, 200, 200 brand new, 100 brand new. All right, I'll take that. I'll take 100, 200 dollar bills all day long. You don't. Let you me don't. see. Go away. Let me see. We're, there's, we're not gonna look at these. No, right? let me see. No. You're being a hater. Oh, it's cute. Kate Spade. Mickey, Minnie Mouse, $68. It's a, a, a purse day. And I believe this is her boyfriend. Right here. Why, why did I tell you to go away, Jess? Because it's Disney and you know I'm going to want it. <laughs> oh, it's two of them. All right. So I guess so you like, can have one. Yay! I guess you can have one to go with your purse you got for Valentine's Day. We should show, we should, should we show everybody your one purse. It's so cute. Um... Do you want a thing like this to go with it? No. I like how you try to put it back in the box. <laughs> I just want you to see in there because it's going to be a little messy. Beats. Look at that. These are them Beats. They're by Dre. Those are really freaking nice. See why they're not Bluetooth? They're solo, but that's probably a, a, a good $100 bill right there. Isaac Mizrahi live, and they paid 29 bucks for this. Another piece of clothing. Come on, baby. Another one. Two more uh, Isaac Mizrahi pieces of clothing. Yeah. Logo by Laura Goldstein. Have you ever heard that? No. Well, you got excited when I said it like you knew what that was. Let's see what they paid. Guess. Two shirts. What did you guys guess? 50 bucks for two. 102 Wow. Yep. Make a mess over here. Come on. Come on, baby. Roll it. Another shirt. What's this one? A knit top by Isaac Mizrahi. Another thirty-three seventy-eight right there. Michael, can you open that? We're getting to the bottom here of nothing. Weird bags, huh? Yeah. What kind of pen is it? Something special? Do you tell it's a special pen? I don't know, like, is that a special name? These are Logo by Goldstein, another 140 bucks right here. Another one. And another one. Guys, that's pretty exciting. What do you guys think so far about this, this unit? You've seen a couple full pieces. We got a lot to go. We paid a little bit deep in there. Um, we got a couple pieces of gold. We got a lot to go through. We got some Uggs, some Goonies. Jess got a great gift. And I'll show you guys her Valentine's Day gift that came out of another one. You know it's best you can ever ask for storage auction pirate. Subscribe. <laughs>